Okay, welcome back to part two. Um, in part one, we just did this nice simple background, okay? And we did some little knife work with this little nice browny, pinky kind of a colour. And a couple of little flicks of white here and there. We kept it nice and simple. Um, nice simple colours. If you haven't seen part one, I strongly suggest you go and look because it was very, very interesting how we created just nice simple background. Now we have a stag in the centre here. Um, I'm going to put the photograph up on the screen there. And that's the stag. Now the proportions are not exactly the same, but we can make it a bit bigger or narrower if we like as we go. But this is the sketch anyway of that stag, okay? I'll just use that reference photograph for that. So we're going to paint that stag now, okay? Um, I have my nice cup of coffee here. You have to have a cup of coffee when you're know, painting just to keep you kind of focused and keep it sharp, yes? Now, because if you like me, I work late nights sometimes, so I can I need my coffee in the morning. Um, it is 11.30 over here in Ireland. Bright, sunny morning. Absolutely stunning. And um, yeah, I was going to do some painting outdoors, but it's kind of quite chilly. There's a bit of a chill there. So I said, look, let's just get this done in the studio today. Now, um, okay, I'll tell you my colours. I have added an extra colour just for the stag. We have titanium white, naples yellow, cobalt blue, phthalo blue, some crimson, some magenta, which we use just to create this nice kind of a subtle background, some burnt cyanide, which I just put out, burnt umber and black. So we only really need maybe three or four colours for the stag, that's all. So let's crack on. I have some turpentine down here and I'm going to start with a little flat brush. Now I do have my stubby. <coughs> My stubby brush as well, but I'll just, I think I'll use this just for now. It's a, a number 10. Will I? Or won't I? No, I will do? No, I'll use my small stubby brush. Okay, uh, let's go. Now, will I zoom in on this for you? I think you might like to see me zooming in very slightly, would you? And I can explain to you what colours I'm using as I go. Okay, is that, is that fair enough? I think we'll, we'll go with that. Right. Now, the stag. Don't worry about the antlers, we'll do all them last. Let's just get the, the, the medium colour done on this. And it's a medium brown. So I'm just going to take some burnt umber. <coughs> Excuse me. I've an awful tickle in my throat for the last couple of weeks. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very annoying. It's like a little tickle on the back of the throat, which is always there. It just will not go away. And it's getting very, very frustrating. Okay, uh, burnt umber, some Naples yellow, and a tiny touch of crimson. Just to warm it. Now I go with a lot of Naples yellow in this, okay? Because there's a nice kind of a light medium colour there, just in the centre. Um, let me see now, I've Naples yellow, so I might take a touch of burnt sienna, just to warm that very slightly. Now let me just see. Let me just have a look. <coughs> okay, I might add a little touch more Naples and then I'm just going to fill in most of the stag with that. Okay, um, I'll go up here onto the neck and comes down. Oh, I'm being very, very loose with this. Okay, I'm not going to try and copy this exactly because that would be very difficult and it would take a very long time to copy this exactly as it is. So I'll just go along now and just give it a little wiggle. It doesn't have to be completely straight. Now I know there's a kind of a point down there, but I'm not going to make it as pointy as it is. I I believe, I think I leave the legs. I'll just get the body covered and maybe get some of the shading done on the body also. Now some more burnt umber and a little touch of burnt sienna. The burnt sienna really just warms us up nicely and it gets into a shadow down here doesn't it and it kind of comes down and around and I'm basically now just painting what I see I'm looking at the photograph and where there's a dark I'm painting a dark and where there's a light I'm painting a light um, I wouldn't worry too much about the actual sketching of it <coughs> the actual drawing of it to be honest I wouldn't worry too much about that no Let's go down here. I might pick up a little tiny bit of black 
just for down here because look it's very very dark down there isn't this it's very blacky real dark colour down underneath the tummy there the stomach um, I'll put a very dark let's take some black and some brown put a very dark colour down under there look I'm just kind of dabbing it around here and there with my brush no okay how's that now I know it's much shorter on the photograph um, <coughs> so I will now you see the legs kind of come down here as well you see so that's why it looks a bit longer than the photograph at the moment but the leg does come down um, I could take a bit of that colour for the legs actually let's take some of Bar Dunbar with black and come down here and come across like that doesn't it and then it just kind of turns and comes straight down doesn't it into the snow like so fill in this area here then okay like so so that's one so that's the back leg the one farthest away and we have another one then in front of us or in front of that leg which will be this one here so I'm just taking burnt sienna now it almost looks like they kind of merge together slightly the colours now let me come down like this it comes out doesn't it and then it comes straight down um, you know the tricky part really is getting the colours just right There we go, and make that one a little bit wider there. I can fill the little gap in with a bit of snowy colour later on. There's no worry with that, there's no panic with that. Um, okay, so this kind of kind of blends and softens in as it comes up. So I've, picking, I've picked up some Naples yellow, and now I'm using just paint on this, okay? No thinners, just paint. I'm just dabbing them down together just to soften them in as they come down you see that's all I'm doing now let me just fill in this up here just get all the tummy area filled in all right like so and notice how I'm moving my brush in the direction of the the body so where it turns here I'm just giving a little flick around in a circle you see that's all I'm doing, look, it's simple. And we can worry about highlights then later on, we can do the highlights later. I'm just kind of worried, I want to get the general shape of the animal. Just the general shape, right. Then, once I have all that done, I can start adding little highlights and little shadows with my pointy brush and so on. So this is just really the kind of, let's call it a filling in kind of stage, yes? where we kind of fill in different areas but I am creating some of those shapes as I go do you understand what I mean? so like this shadow won't be the final shadow and that won't be the final colour I'll add more lights now another way you can do it is if you just paint in your light areas paint in your dark areas and then sort of soften them together with a very soft blender brush and then you have that lovely merge of light to dark that's another way of doing it um, of course you can do it whichever way you like whichever way suits yourself now I've taken some black with some burnt sienna I'm just going to go along here and I'm going to do the fur on the side of the neck here so it comes down and it turns in doesn't it I think I'll leave the face just for now so look I just go around the face with plenty of paint Okay, so it comes down like that. I'm going to take a little touch of Naples yellow and I will put little flicks down. Now you can use a pointy brush for this as well if you like. I'm just used to using these kind of flat brushes. So I quite enjoy painting like this. But you can use a little pointy brush if you like, by all means.
and then we have a little leg okay look like that and it turns like so doesn't it Okay, and we go around this side, it's nice and kind of dark over there on that side isn't it, so let's take some black and some brown and let's come down along this side again, just with some black and some brown, right, first just like that and then it comes out like this and it turns and comes down doesn't it. Okay, and then it lightens again with the leg, a little bit of maple jello, some burnt sienna, and then we lighten it off again with the leg. And it comes straight down, the leg is almost pretty straight on this one isn't it, it's just wider at the top. Now, you sit back down and take a quick look at this. Right, I'm getting there now. That's not bad. Um, I'll go for some burnt umber, I think, with a little touch of sienna, just to warm some of these sections around here. Um, I'll put a nice kind of a dark across, nice shadow across there like that. Okay. And then we have a nice very bright kind of a light on those legs. Now I'm going to switch to a smaller brush for that. Small rounded brush. I'll go for some Naples yellow. With a touch of cyanide. And I'll just go in here and put that nice light with the sun maybe catching and I'll soften it back into the leg, okay? There we go and I might add a little bit on this, I know it's not on the photograph but it's quite nice to see the light kind of hitting. Now on the dark side I'm just going to take some burnt, burnt umber a little burnt cyanide first, okay? So I go with that colour first and I come down and soften that and soften it into the light, okay? Very gently. There we go. So that's the first stage. Then I'll take some black because I know there's a little bit of black just coming down here and there. Like that. So you see what I did. Just light on one side, dark on the other side. That's all. And I'll add a little bit of black over here. Because it's very dark over here, isn't it? And it is quite dark up around the side of this as well also. See, I'm putting the flicks down just here and there. Little flick there. As you can sort of see where there are little dark patches here and there. Okay, there like that. Um, Alright, that's looking quite good. I'll darken this leg next, so I'm just going along now, darkening one at a time. I'll take some burnt umbo with cyanide for this one because that's quite a rich colour on that leg there. A bit more cyanide, oh, my brush just fell. A bit more cyanide here and there. Okay, um, with the knees come out there, we have a little bit of a bump, don't we? 
and there's no bump showing on this, but I just accentuate it just a little. Okay, um, alright, let's go up into this section here. So you see what I'm doing now? I'm just going along, dabbing here and there, that's all. And I keep glancing at the photograph, just to make sure that my darks are going on the right spot. Look, we have a nice warm dark up there. Let's take a bit of cyanide for that. And we've a nice one at the back as well, don't we? So let's create a curve with that. A bit of cyanide, just here and there. See? Coming around the body carving around in a little circle and let's put some cyanide with burnt umber at the very end down here like that is it that coming on nice now? I'm happy enough now so far it's coming on quite nice and right just here now where this back leg is you can see there's a nice dark where it kind of shows the, the hip area, I suppose. So I'm just going to put a dark across there like that. Soften it across. Alright. You could maybe touch a black in, just a tiny touch of black. Just to show off that little bit more. And it sort of curves up and disappears, doesn't it? So it's just showing you the hip then. It shows it kind of accentuates the hip on the animal, doesn't it? There we go. And the nice thing about it is it's picking up some of that kind of lighter colour from the snow and it's making some nice cool kind of greys. Isn't that lovely? Now how's that looking? That's not too bad though so far, is it? And if you find that it's a bit kind of brushy, you can see the brush marks. Again, just take a soft brush and pull some of them together around in a little curve. Look, see? That's all you have to do. It's simple. Robin, I hope now this is not too complicated for you. Just take your time and remember, just try not to overcomplicate things. Just, I suppose the most important part is the sketching of it, the drawing. Um, if you can get that right, everything else will follow, I promise. It'll be simple. Just take your time. Really go nice and slow. Now I'm going to just heighten the back here just a little. It's a little bit on the lower side, I think. So I'm going to bring that up just slightly. Okay, that's a bit better. Um, I'll come down maybe and give it a little point just at the back there. And again, there is a little dark a couple of dark spots here and there. So I can see one around here, look. Quite a nice one. And I can see a nice one over here again, like where I go, see? Just put a little dark across it, that's all, it's no big deal. Now, that's nice now, isn't it? I suppose it's looking more like a horse than anything else, but sure, once we get the face done, it'll be fine. Okay, let's move on and do the face. We can worry about some lights and stuff later. Let's just get the face done. Um, this is going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to take a nice kind of a pale grey kind of a colour. I'm going to take some black. I'll take a little touch of Naples yellow. And that little touch of Naples yellow will add a kind of a green, give it a kind of a very pale grey green. I'll take a touch of cyanide into that. Let me just have a look at this now. Now I'll paint right over the eyes and everything, okay? It's a kind of a cool grey, a coolish sort of a grey. Um, but it's dark at the same time, you see? It, all, it almost merges into the colour down below, doesn't it? If you look closely. back now and have a fast look at that. I just want to do it nice. I want to do the, the animal nice rather than just kind of 
I'm skipping along doing this quickly. Okay, let's come up here now and I just cover, let me just take a bit of cyanide. I'm just going to cover most of the head with this kind of colour here. And I can I can add the nose and the mouth and all that kind of stuff then in a moment. So let me just take some burnt umber for up on top. It's nice and dark up there, isn't it? So I'm covering it all in, see? And then I can start refining and I can start getting the lights that I want. Now it's very bright over on this side with the air, isn't it? So I'm going to take some Naples yellow with some white and a little touch of burnt umber. Let me just get this. Oh, that's too bright. Uh, a bit more grey, I think. That grey colour that I used. That grey colour was just white, Naples yellow and a little bit of black. Okay, a tiny bit of black. That's all it was. Alright. And let's soften it in around here. And that light colour sort of comes down the side of the face, doesn't it? Then we have a little bit of light which has been caught up around the top area up here. A little bit of light there. And we have a little light over the eye on this side. And we have a little bit of light on the eye on the other side. Here. A little bit of light. So I'm just getting the general just the general shapes, just very loosely, okay? That's all. And we've a little bit under the eye here, which then comes down and turns around, doesn't it? So it's coming together now, isn't it? This, a this air will be slightly darker, I'd say. So I'm gonna make that just slightly on the more brown side. And it kind of comes down and bends. It can be tricky getting the ears right, can't it? That's what I find. It's always tricky getting the ears right on an animal. Um, these are not perfect by no means, but I can kind of work away as I go along. And we'll have a little bit of dark on the back of that one up there. Okay, coming down like that. And then we have some nice dark colour on the top of the head, kind of coming down the centre. I might try a little bit of burnt sienna, actually, just on the head up here. Quite nice uh, kind of a colour coming along. And we have a little bit of dark under the bottom of that air as well. I'll get my pointy brush in a moment though and just do some real fine work. I just want to get some of the, the features in with this brush. I find if you use a very, very small pointy brush, um, it becomes too... I don't know, everything just becomes too, uh, what would you say, it's, I'm, trying to, I'm struggling to find the words now to describe what I'm trying to explain. Uh, small brushes, they make it kind of concentrate a lot more than you have to, I find. That's probably the best way of describing it. Okay, you see? I can get the details in in a moment. See, that's not bad though, is it? And then, um, let's put a suggestion of one of the eyes here. 
and let's put a little suggestion of a small one on this side. Okay. We're getting there. We are getting there slowly, slowly but surely, as they say. Uh, a nice bright bit of white now under the nose there, okay? Tiny touch of napal jello, a bit of white, and we have a little flick on each side, and then let's go underneath. So because it's wet into wet now, it's going to take a couple of tries. Just keep keep going at it, keep trying. No, that's a bit too... That's a bit too much. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just dab it gently, and I'm going to soften it down very gently as well, okay? So you see, you can just soften colours out. Now we've got to a small brush, will we? I think it's time for the detail brush. Let's try it. No. Okay. Um, I refine. I start at the top and I'm going to just start putting in some lights. So a little cyanide and a little Naples yellow. And I'm just going to start putting in some lights up here. Like that. Um, a couple along there, like that. Okay. Soften them along. Little Naples yellow. Um, There, little Naples yellow, just under here. Perhaps a little touch of white. And then, I'll take a little tiny touch of black on the tip of my brush. And I can see, just a moat along here, And again, clean our brush, go back into it. A little bit down there. You can refine the nose if you like as well. Okay. Like that. And let's darken the eyes just that bit. And let's darken it on the air. Just there. And we can darken a little bit around here because I'm just thinking of what the shadows are catching the animal, that's all. Understand? That's all I'm doing. Um, okay. Let's brighten that eye just a little there. And then take some more burnt umber and black and let's darken the top here, top of this air. Very rich and dark up there actually. Burnt umber. And let's take some burnt umber for along the bottom here. So I have a bit more control now with the pointy brush. A little bit on the end of the air like that. And let's add a couple of darks just down here. Create the lines of this neck the way the neck kind of, the fur on the neck, the way it sort of curves downwards. Let's just put a couple of darks like that. See, I'm now flicking the brush with little flicks, little small flicks. And I can do some light ones as well in just a moment. A um, couple down here. Just in behind that leg. A um, bit more black down here. As you can see I'm just creating the shape of the animal. That's all I'm doing. 
I know this is a bit of a curve here, it shouldn't be kind of curved that much, I don't think. It's a bit, it's a bit more straight on the photograph, isn't it? But, can't be perfect. Can it? Okay, let me just stand back down, take a look. That's not bad. Um, okay, let me take a touch of light blue and put a little dab of that colour, very light blue colour, just around the nose. So a little bit there, and a little bit there, just to suggest the nostrils, okay? Uh, perhaps a tiny bit on the eye, just there. I think it just helps bring, bring the eye to life. See? It, does, it brings it to life alright, doesn't it? Now, um, I might add some lights to the body. So I'll take some Naples yellow, a little touch of cyanide, but lots of Naples yellow now. Okay? And around here, you can see, there's a nice light here and there. It just kind of turns down behind that front leg. Soften it down. Okay, clean your brush again. Go back into more colour. I'd perhaps add a touch of white, just a touch, just to make it that bit lighter, see, just that little bit. And we can go along the back here. There's a bit of a light spot there, right along the centre of the stomach, or abdomen. Would that be the correct term for it? Alright, let's take a bit more of that. Do some nice kind of white floor, furry sort of stuff down in there. Um, I would lighten just in here. With that shadow is catching. And I will lighten just along here as well. Now the back. I'm going to lighten in behind this leg just here. I'm going to put a little bit of that just down. So I'm just looking at the photograph. I'm taking my time. As, as I said earlier, where there's a little light, put in a little light. Where there's a dark, put in a little dark. And it will come together in the end. Okay. There we go. Just like that. And I'll put a nice dark in just inside that leg then. A nice strong dark. Nice bit of black look. I'm using the tip of my brush just to kind of soften it out. Into the rest of the leg, see? And it gets very dark at the end, doesn't it? Okay. How is it looking? Our little friend, what do we call him? Will we give him a name? Hmm, I'm thinking Jasper, I don't know why. Jasper keeps popping into my head. He looks like a Jasper to me. What do you think? Yeah. I'm thinking Jasper, we'll name him Jasper. Jasper the Stag, yeah? That's nice, that's a nice name. So Jasper now is my little friend and I'm going to frame him when this is finished and see if I can see, let's see if we can give Jasper a nice new home to go to. Alright? Now a little bit of Naples yellow and white I've added on just to give that light just a little bit more punch. Okay, just a little. Just a touch look. And a little bit just around the back here again. Yeah, that's a bit better I'd say. Okay. I will just soften that in just a little there. Alright, that's a bit better. Um, Antlers. Let's give this little chap some antlers, shall we? 
Now I'm going to just soften the face in just a tiny little bit because and there's a little bit of light around the nose there also. And there's a nice bright light on the other side of his face as well, which I never added in. Okay, it's a nice bright, isn't it? Very, very bright just there. Okay, that'll do. We'll start the antlers. Let's give the antlers a try. Let's start with some nice medium kind of a shade. Let's go with some burnt umber. And I'm dampening this now so that it moves around nicely, okay? So a little burnt umber with some cyan, I would say. Let's try that first. Nice kind of a middle shade. And let's just go for it. Let's say, okay, it comes up and it turns over like that. And then it comes up like a point. And then it comes up again. And it comes up like that at a point. And then there's another. Now this is a bit thicker, this one, isn't it? And then there's another thickish kind of a one that comes out of that. Like so. And it's got some burnt umber. Then there's another one. Flicks out of that. You can kind of mess around with it as we go, do you know what I mean? And let's take another sharp one out of that. They do look sharp, don't they? I would like to get caught in the end of those, I can tell you that. Now, let me just strengthen some of that, make it look like it's really anchored onto his head, yeah? There, that's a bit better now, isn't it? And, okay, let's go again. Let's take some burnt umber, some cyanide. And right, let's go try and get this somewhat similar. Because they need to be, I suppose, a little bit similar anyway. Um, I know I went too long with this one, didn't I? Well, it's okay if you make a little mistake, that's fine. There we go. And we have another little one. This one kind of goes over. This is a very big one here, isn't it? it turns right up there like that. And we have a little one that flicks around. They are impressive antlers, I must say, aren't they? Okay, let's go on to a bit of black and let's go a little flick there, flick there. A bit of black down there. Now, just a dry brush with some black and let's start adding some shadow to some of these, yeah? Throw a little black there, a little bit there, a bit on the back of that and Let's thicken this one up a little bit. Ah, this is coming out lovely, isn't it? I'll be quite honest now, I didn't think it would turn out this well. I was slightly apprehensive um, because I wouldn't paint many animals as such. But yes, I'm very, very happy with this now so far. It's turned out very well. I'm very proud of myself, to be quite honest. Believe it or not. Very proud. There we are, a bit of shadow down there. Let me just bring that across there a little bit more. Okay. How is this looking? I am very, very happy. Now a little bit of light on that. Let's take some naples yellow and a little white. And on the tips of some of these, A little bit of white with Naples yellow. It doesn't have to be very pointy. See? Just a little flick. And how is that? I also see a little bit of light 
on the ear, just down here, like that, and I see a little bit on this ear as well, like that. Right, how are we looking? Ah, what do you think of that? Now I'll take some cyan with some Naples yellow. Okay, a lot of that. I'm just going to lighten some parts of these antlers where it might be catching the sun. Okay? See what I mean? Just a little here and there. That's probably even loads, I reckon. That's loads. I'm just going to soften some of the air in here. Bear in mind, you see, the thicker paint that you put on, the more difficult it is going to be to soften it together. Just remember that, okay? So, try not to put on paint which is too thick um, too early on. So, I, I always leave um, the thicker paints till the very, very end, basically. Once you know that you're happy enough with everything else in the painting, you can then kind of go ahead and start putting on nice thick highlights and whatnot. Okay. I am fairly happy with this as it is. Um, you know, I don't want to overwork it, because if you overwork it, you could make it worse, couldn't you? Now, a little bit of dark just on the side of that there, right? Just a little bit more. There. Okay. Now, maybe on the stomach again, I could bring it down a little bit more. Okay, and soften it up then, look. Lick it upwards nice and gently. There. How was that? Now let me just zoom back very carefully because he needs to sit on the snow, doesn't he? The poor little fella. Now let me just add a touch of high light, just a touch of Naples yellow here and there. Okay, just like that. That's all I want to do. Um, let's add, let's just put some snow down here so he can sit on the ground, okay? So let's just take a bit of white. And look, let's just pull a bit of white across under his feet. Like that. So now he's sitting, he's standing in the snow. And he's not just floating in midair. And we also might put a little bit of a shadow underneath yes how about that now the light is coming from this way so what about we put a little shadow coming off let's just take a bit of cobalt blue some crimson a little touch of black perhaps let's try something like that perhaps even a bit of brown that's a bit um, a bit more black perhaps Okay, just a little look, just a suggest. It's just a suggestion of a little shadow underneath. And it goes off then, disappears. And I think that's it. The last part is to sign this wonderful painting now. So, let me see now where will I sign. I'll go down there and sign this here now. S. Conway. Let me get a bit more. I must buy a proper writing pen and leave it dry then and just sign it properly because it's very difficult trying to sign something that's very wet. 
Ja, wieder. S. Conway. Uh, you can kind of add to it if you feel you want to, but you don't have to. So I will, for instance, perhaps just soften some of those together. I think in general, it's been a success, hasn't it? I'd like to thank Robin very much for sending me on that suggestion of the stag um, in snow. And I'm very happy now that I actually decided to do it. I'm very, very, very happy. So thank you very much, Robin. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me zoom in and show you what we have created. And there we are. A lovely stag in a snow scene. Little bits of pink, I think, complement the painting, don't they? He looks a little cross that we're looking at him, perhaps. He's saying, who are you looking at? That's all right, little fella. No harm at all. And there we go. Isn't that lovely? Now I have a little frame, which I made earlier, and it's not like my usual frame, it's just one that I had left over from the previous picture, the very old picture. So I just said, look, let's pop it on. And just see what it looks like. Just to finish off this round. Isn't that lovely? And I'm going to stick that on my Facebook page and see if I can perhaps sell it. What do you think? Okay, that's it. Let me turn the camera on. Perfect. There we go. Done. I hope you enjoy that. Um, I'll be back next week again. I might, I might do a, a seascape. I got a lovely um, photograph of a seascape with light hitting rocks and the, the way the, the splash kind of coming towards you from Ness. Ness, um, if you're watching. You know what I'm talking about, the splash coming towards you like this, with the light coming through the water. Something like that maybe, I'll see. I have one or two other requests as well that I might try and get through. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's just very spontaneous. I can just decide to paint something at the end, at the very moment, okay? So it's going to, you know, we we'll, we'll have a bit of fun as we go along. Okay, try that. Um, I know the stag, there was a bit more work in the stag, a bit more detail, but you know, just try and simplify it if you can. And um, I hope you've even at least enjoyed watching me do it. And I, I hope to see you back here again next week for some um, easy oil painting. It wasn't so easy this week, but I tried to keep it as easy as I can. Thank you so much for all the support. If you'd like to get brushes, stephenconway12 at gmail.com. Um, I can send you a set of those lovely stubby brushes, they're very handy. And thank you very much for everybody for your support. Uh, you've been very kind and very generous to me. I hope to see you all again very soon. Happy painting and God bless.